Hey, what's up guys? It's Excellent Flex and today I have two tips to help you guys better prioritize decisions in your lives and kind of help you decide to make the right decision in the right circumstances. Now I want to take a quick second to thank Mark Everhart for tweeting me this awesome topic. I thought it was great and I uh, just wanted to say thanks, bro. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the first little kind of theory slash topic, whatever you want to call it, that I have here for you guys today. And what that is, is I feel personally that in order to to prioritize the the right decision in order to make the decision that's best for you sometimes you have to look at your options and it's not always about looking at your options and choosing the one that's most appealing to you sometimes it's straight up hands down just about choosing the option that's best for you even if it's not the most appealing thing so I'll give you a quick example you know for those of you guys that are in school uh, say you, you have a long day at school and then you get home and you have that split that split second decision when you open the door. You can decide, do I want to call my friends up and hang out with them for six hours? Or do I want to go up in my room and, and cook some food and just play Modern Warfare 3 for six hours? Or do I want to go home and or go up in my room and, and do my homework right off the bat? Now obviously I'm, I'm sure as easy as it is, we can easily choose the two uh, decisions of those three uh, three possible decisions that are that are the most appealing to I'm sure all of us which would be hanging out with friends and playing Modern Warfare 3 I'm sure we can all agree that those uh, both sound much more exciting than doing homework right but we gotta look at it in the sense of obviously we know logically speaking the best thing to do probably right off the bat would be to get your homework done and just because that's the decision that's that's best for you and I, and as I said it's obviously not the most appealing but I want to kind of flow this into my little subtopic that I have that's part of this topic which is looking at all of the decisions that you have the possible choices you can make and looking at them, looking at them in a sense of where you want to be in the future and this applies to to greater decisions that might not just be little but bigger ones so for instance um, if you look at the first two decisions if you look at them in terms of the future you know where are you gonna be in six hours if you go and hang out with your friends or where are you going to be in six hours if you play Modern Warfare 3 for, for a long time? And, you know, logically speaking, in six hours, you're going to be up at, say, 9 or 10 o'clock at night doing your homework. And if you look at option number three, which is do your homework right off the bat, where are you going to be in six hours? Well, you'll be in your room, kicking it old school, playing some Modern Warfare 3 because you already got your homework done early. You prioritized that decision over the other ones to, to better position you for the future which in this case was six hours away but you can look at it in a greater aspect it can be you know where do you want to be in six years it can be where do you want to be in two years and you can look at it in a uh, in a physical aspect you know if you want to if you want to be a super athlete if you want to look like a supermodel in two years obviously you have to make the right prioritizing decisions now so that in two years you'll achieve that goal so I hope that makes sense <laughs> Now, uh, the second topic, I guess, so to say, I mean, and now that I look at it, it's this this one might not even be a tip. It's more so just a frame of mind. Um, it's just look at some decisions in life and recognize that sometimes you make them in order to delay satisfaction to ensure that you can uh, have greater satisfaction in the future. And I'll give you just a straight up quick example. So say you decide to go to college. And I know a lot of us understand that college and school in general, very stressful, very time consuming, and it's a lot of work. So someone might prioritize college as their number one thing to get done first, right out of high school, because they know that it's going to be better for them. They know that by prioritizing that decision, they're going to be better satisfied in the future. So for instance, you know, you go right into college, like I said before, it's very stressful, very time consuming. You're delaying instant gratification. So by what I mean by that is you could decide not to go to college and you could say stay home and party for two or three years out of high school and then go to college or then you could you know or then you may never go to college and maybe you just want to get a, a regular part-time paying job and uh, and that's it you know but by choosing to go to college you're you're acknowledging the fact that you are basically trading uh, pain and 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 hard work to in the future ensure that you're gonna be able to live a better life so sometimes what I'm saying is decisions are made not for instant gratification but for gratification at a later time and this is all 
I think this frame of mind is developed over time as you get older. You just realize that, you know what, sometimes you make a decision not because it's instantly gratifying, but because it's going to help you uh, seek better gratification in the future. And now that I kind of think of it, now that I kind of am talking about this, I think my first tip and this second topic slash tip that I'm talking about are kind of one in the same thing, but different, possibly different ways just of looking at them. Anyways, I hope that that made sense. Um, I'm going to keep this commentary short and see if you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I had a really fun time making this. I know I haven't commented you guys back on my last video yet. I've been extremely busy, so give me some time, and I'm actually kind of contemplating a cool way of responding to you guys. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for spending the time you did on my video. I appreciate it very much, and I will catch you guys later. As always, stay flying, stay fresh. Peace.